what's up internet welcome back to ns2 learning tutorial series in today's tutorial we are going to get our output in terms of x graph so all of you who are wondering what x graph is how do we take the output directly in in the form of x graph so this tutorial is for you plus this is a quick tutorial and a quick giveaway of a TCL file for you to practice I'm going to be quickly going through the file here the scenario consists of eight mobile nodes four of them are source and four of them are destination now what's different about this uh, TCL file is that uh, we are creating four output trace files for throughput four output trace files for packet loss and four output trace files for packet delay and then we create agents on um, four sources then we create things on four uh, receivers then this part is important uh, you could download this sample file from the link in the description and you could read it carefully where we are calculating the throughput this is the expression for calculating the throughput then we are calculating the packet loss rate and finally we are calculating the packet delay in the network so this, might, uh, this code might uh, be handy for all of you guys if you want to extrapolate this research and then finally I would want you to have a look at the mm, look at these three lines which tells you how to output uh, how to take the output in the form of x graph so we we are taking the output of the four trace files for throughput uh, like this and we are taking the output for four trace files for packet loss and so on now I'm going to quickly run this to illustrate how it looks like you'll get three outputs and all the three outputs are x graph plots this is the output of throughput for the first receiver the second receiver third and fourth receiver and this is the x graph of packet delay of four receivers and this is the X graph of packet loss in four receivers now please understand this simulation scenario is very simple and is just an illustration of how uh, you can take the output in X graph uh, you could download the sample file from the link in the description and make changes accordingly to make the simulation complicated or intricate according to your own needs i hope this tutorial helped and if it does click on the like and subscribe button and do not forget to comment you have a nice day bye bye